replace this part of the seal. And you remember the part of the seal that was right there was stuck. It actually broke off. So the shaft that it actually goes on is missing. There's the, the new one. So we're going to replace all this. The first thing we're going to do is I've cleaned the volute up as, as good as I could. When it gets chemically stained like that, you really can't get it off. I've washed it, scrubbed it, and used a uh, like a scouring pad to get it off. So we're going to turn it upside down and just take a flat screwdriver and just get on the edge of the seal and just go boop, boop, knock the seal out. And this seal is actually breaking in pieces, so it actually, you can see that the ceramic was busted on it. And the reason the ceramic busted was this thing swelled up and actually busted the inside of the ceramic. And what we're going to do is replace this first. I'm going to clean this up. I've got, got that out of there. I'm going to wipe it out. Get it nice and dry and nice and clean. I'm going to put a little bit of the Professor Silly Juice on the back of the seal. This is an Aquaflow, so it uses a 200 seal. This is the ceramic part. And this part goes on the impeller, and this part goes in the volute, which is the back. On a waterway, this part goes on the impeller, that part goes in the volute. So they're very different. But this is a 200 seal. Of course, we have these in our store. We have these in our store. We have the Professor Silly Juice in our store that we use, so we're going to get started on this thing. You just don't want to get the silicone on the ceramic part of the seal. And we're using this actually for two reasons. We're using it to make it slicker so it, it slides down in there a little more easily. And we're also using it to seal it so it won't spin. Because they'll actually spin around inside if you're not sharp. And it doesn't take much. I'm putting just a real light coat and I'm going to spread it with my, with my finger like that around. Just a real light little coat. And I'm going to use a three-quarter inch coupler right here to push it down. And I'm just going to take it, slip it in there, and take the coupler and just press it into place. I'm going to set it flat so I can make sure it's seated. And then I'm going to wipe the excess sealant off. And that is a properly installed seal. I'm going to push on it one more time just to be sure. Make sure it's nice and seated, and it is. That looks good. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to put this part of the seal on this shaft right here. Now, the way we're going to do that is put just a little bit of silicone on the shaft, just like this right here, and just slicking it up a little bit, just a little bit around, doesn't take much. And this is going to seal this and keep it from spinning but it's also going to help us to slide it on there very simply. Same thing, you just rub a little bit on there. And silicone is very slick until it dries. And then once it dries, it sticks very well. So you just slip, you see there's a little rubber piece in there. You can slide that on there with your fingers and just twist it. And once it hits that silicone, boy, it's on down on there. Now one thing that you want to make sure that you avoid is you don't want to twist this part, you can see that there's two little tabs in there. We'll try to get it where you can see it. There's a tab here and one on the other side, and they have to line up. So you can accidentally twist this thing around. Let me get it where you can see it in the light. You can accidentally twist it around and get it where those are not lined up. And the first time you put pressure on it, it'll break this. So this is prepared, ready to go back on the motor. This is the old stuff. Out with the old, in with the new. Stay tuned. All right, friends, so if you need Aquaflow parts, impellers, seals, complete wet ends, pumps, whatever, if you'll click the banner over my head, it'll take you to my website where we have all these parts, including how-to videos like you're watching right now for all kinds of different scenarios. Go there now. I don't know much, but I do know hot tubs. I'm the spot guy.